Hi, kindergarten. We're still working in module four. And a lot of what we're doing in module four is telling some stories. So today you are actually going to come up with your very own story using a number bond. I'll show you my story, but I really want you to come up with your own. And it can be about whatever you want. Mm. Could be about Charlie the lizard. Could be about Ziggy. Could be about Obi. Could be about your little sister Destiny. There's so many things you could write about. You could write about Fuzzball. But I'll show you what I'm going to write about. So one day, it was very cloudy outside. There were three gray clouds high up in the sky. And then all of a sudden, zap, two strikes of lightning hit. So here's my story. I already have it figured out. I have my three clouds and I have my two lightning bolts. So now I just have to use a number bond to represent this problem. So I'm going to ask myself, I start out with three clouds. Is three clouds the whole, or is that just part of my story? That's just part of my story. So I would put my three clouds in this bottom area here. What is my other part of the story? Well, my two lightning bolts would go in here. And then how many do I have all together? How many objects are in the sky? Well, one, two, three, four, five, because three and two is five. So here are my three clouds, one, two, three. Here are my two lightning bolts, one, two. And let's count them one more time to be sure. One, two, three, four, five. I have five things in the cloud all together, or in the sky all together. So this is just to show you how you can tell a story and represent it on the number bond. I had three clouds, then two lightning bolts hit, and then I had five things in the sky all together. And of course, I can represent that with our number bond. Two and three is five. Now it's your turn. I'm so excited to see what kind of problem you are going to come up with using a number bond. Very excited to see. You can go ahead and click on the exit ticket below.